he couldn't stand or walk, but he'd have a little tail wag and it said to us that he was gonna try. We received a call that there was a dog found by the gutter. On first sight, you wouldn't even have thought that he was still living. I, I just couldn't believe that we were able to get there in time because this dog didn't have much time left. He had minutes. We brought him to an emergency animal hospital. He only weighed 15 pounds. He should have weighed another 20 or 30 pounds over that. Three days after he was released to one of our extremely experienced fosters. The first 24 hours, he was very weak, droopy ears, droopy tail, just a really sad looking puppy. By day three and four, he was wagging his tail. His ears were a bit perkier. Good boy. By the end of the first week, he was able to stand on his own, walking a little bit. Oh, can you help him, honey? Just so he doesn't fall over. Come on, you got it. The second week, as he's building up a little bit more energy, he wanted to play. Good boy. We have a really large Rottweiler who he was just excited to get out of his crate to engage with. By the third week, you know, it's getting him out on actual walks. He kind of went from going to three feet on his own to being able to go down to the end of the street to around the block and eventually keeping up with our older dog. I realized that I no longer had a sick weekly puppy. Who's hungry? I had a really active puppy. Come on, go to your room. Go to your room. His coat was looking better. The fur was coming in. He's just a perfect example of the puppy that wants to live. Go to your room. Come on. Not just a physical change, but also that emotional change. Week five or six was when I approached Megan about adopting him. Tim works at the tattoo shop that I go to. She brought him in. You could just see it in his face that he just needed a loving home and just had me hooked ever since then. He was all up on the couch, all on the bed. He just fit in so well. He knew that was going to be his home. My husband and I, we have two other dogs. I think it's really good for him because they just romp around and play all the time. It's absolutely amazing seeing his transformation. Doesn't even look like he's the same dog. His ability to love. I think that that's the most admirable thing about him because he was treated so poorly, but yet all he wants is to give love. And that's the best part about him. Like comment, and subscribe.